Chromebooks started out as purely budget laptops, cheap in price and limited in what they could do. But now, about 10 years after the first mainstream Chromebooks hit the market, things have changed significantly. Chrome OS has become much more capable, while manufacturers now make Chromebooks for every budget, from around $200 to $1,000 or more. There are tons of Chromebooks to consider, which makes finding the right ones tricky. Fortunately, I've tried enough at this point to know what to look for and what to avoid. There are a handful of reasons to choose a Chromebook over a cheap Windows laptop. First is the simple and clean nature of Chrome OS, which is based on Google's Chrome browser. This means web apps are the primary way you'll get things done. Browsing, working in cloud-based apps, streaming music and video, and using various social media sites are among the most common things people do on Chromebooks. Unsurprisingly, they also work well with Google's own services like Photos, Docs, Gmail, Drive, and so on. There's no bloatware to uninstall like you often get on cheap Windows laptops. Chromebooks boot up in seconds, and you can completely reset to factory settings just as quickly. Chromebooks also support Android apps via the Google Play Store, which greatly expands the amount of software available. Unfortunately, many apps still don't work well on Chromebooks, but when they do, they can be super handy. For example, you can install the Netflix app and save videos for offline watching when you travel. And Microsoft's Office Suite and Adobe Lightroom are both surprisingly capable. There are also nice ties between Android phones and Chromebooks, like using your phone as a security key or instantly tethering to your laptop to use mobile data. Google also touts security as a major differentiator for Chromebooks. Between auto updates, sandboxing for every app you use and site you visit, and a verified boot system, Chrome OS is pretty secure. Beyond all this, the fact that you generally can't install traditional apps on a Chromebook means there are fewer ways for bad actors to access the system. Since Chrome OS is lightweight, it usually runs well on fairly modest hardware, so the most important factors when buying a Chromebook aren't necessarily processing power or storage space. That said, I'd still recommend you get a Chromebook with a recent Intel processor, ideally an 8th generation or newer M3 or Core i3. As for RAM, 4GB is enough for most people, though 8GB isn't a bad idea if you want to future-proof your investment, or if you're just a serious tab junkie. Storage space is another place where you don't need to spend too much. 64GB should be enough for almost anyone. If you plan on storing a lot of local files or loading up your Chromebook with Linux or Android apps, go with 128 gigs to be safe. I've found that the keyboard and display are often more important than sheer specs. The good news is that you can find less expensive Chromebooks that still have pretty good screens, plus keyboards you won't mind typing on all day. Many cheap Chromebooks still come with small, low-resolution screens, but a 1080p panel should be the standard, unless you're getting a particularly small or cheap machine. Keyboard quality is a bit more subjective, but you shouldn't settle for a mushy or otherwise compromised typing experience. As for software support, Chromebooks get regular updates automatically for about six years from their release date. Google's support page lists the auto-update expiration date for virtually every Chromebook ever, but a good rule of thumb is just to buy newer machines so you can get the longest possible support. Chromebooks started out cheap, often under $300, but as they've gone more mainstream, the range of quality and price has expanded significantly. There are still many budget options out there that may be suitable as couch machines or a secondary device, but if you want a Chromebook that can be your all-day, everyday laptop, $400 is about the least you can expect to spend. There are premium models that cost as much as $1,000, but most people will be happy with a machine that costs between $400 and $800. As for our favorite options, Lenovo's Flex 5 Chromebook does just about everything right. It covers all the basics. The 13-inch 1080p touchscreen with a 360-degree hinge is bright, though it's a little hard to see in direct sunlight because of glare. It runs on a 10th generation Intel Core i3 processor, the 8-hour battery life is solid, and the backlit keyboard is one of the best I've used on any laptop lately, Chromebook or otherwise. It's now a year old, but you still can't beat the combination of price and performance. The laptop typically sells for well under $400 on Amazon. Naturally, Lenovo cut a few corners to hit that price. I was especially concerned about the non-upgradable 4GB of RAM, but my testing showed that the Flex 5 can run plenty of tabs and other apps without many hiccups. If you push things hard, you'll occasionally have to wait for tabs to refresh, but other than that, this is a solid performer. Ultimately, I think the Flex 5 hits the sweet spot for a large majority of potential Chromebook buyers out there, providing a level of quality and performance that's pretty rare at this price point. That said, we'll be keeping an eye out to see if Lenovo refreshes the model for 2021. There are a few excellent options currently available if you want a premium device. 
Acer's Chromebook Spin 713 and Samsung's Galaxy Chromebook 2 are both priced at $699 and offer a number of advantages you won't find on cheaper models. The Chromebook Spin 713 pairs an 11th gen Intel Core i5 processor with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, both double what you get on the Flex 5. But what really makes it stand out is its 13.5 inch touchscreen display and 3 x 2 aspect ratio. That makes it a much better option than 1080p displays when you're scrolling vertically through documents and web pages. It has a somewhat unusual resolution of 2256 x 1504 thanks to the taller aspect ratio, but it makes for a more pixel dense display than you'll find on most Chromebooks. Long story short, the screen is great. While the Chromebook Spin 713 looks like a standard gray slab of a laptop, Samsung's Galaxy Chromebook 2 is far more stylish. Its red color and relatively thin and light design make it stand out over the more utilitarian Flex 5 and Spin 713. Fortunately, the Galaxy Chromebook 2 doesn't just look good. It has one of the best screens you've seen on a Chromebook. The 1080p panel isn't as expansive as the one on the Spin 713, but Samsung's QLED technology produces extremely bright and sharp images, making it a pleasure to use. It also features good all-around specs, including a 10th gen Core i3 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage. You're giving up a bit of processing power compared to the Spin 713, but the Galaxy Chromebook 2 performed well in my tests. It also has an excellent keyboard. The keys are slightly shallow, but more stable than those on the Spin 713. It's extremely comfortable to type on for extended stretches. While Lenovo's Flex 5 is inexpensive enough that you could get one for your kid, Acer's Chromebook 512 might be a better option for grade schoolers and preteens. First off, it's specifically built to take abuse. In addition to the impact resistant body, you can spill up to 330 milliliters of liquid on the keyboard. A drainage system will flush it out and keep the insides working. Note that I haven't actually tried this. The keyboard features mechanically anchored keys that should be harder for kids to pick off too. Regardless of how much water you can pour into that keyboard, the Chromebook 512 should handle a child's lifestyle better than your average laptop. The computer isn't a speed demon, but the Intel Celeron N4000 chip coupled with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage should be fine for basic tasks. The 12 inch screen isn't a standout either, but it has the same taller 3x2 aspect ratio as Acer's Chromebook Spin 713. This means you'll get more vertical screen real estate than you would on the 16x9 11 inch panels typically found on laptops of this class. All in all, it's a fairly modest laptop, but for grade school kids, a computer that can take some punishment and runs an easy to use OS that's well supported in education should fit the bill well. The Chromebook 512 is priced at $250 direct from Acer, but it's selling for $220 on Amazon right now. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about our favorite Chromebooks, check out Engadget.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.